Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. In the last video, uh, we uh, refurbished the lightweight aluminium steering knuckles. And in this video, we will be installing them and uh, going for a test drive. I already installed them on the right side of the Brera, so now we only have to install them on the left side. It's quite a big uh, install, so uh, let's start uh, right away.
So guys, the old steering knuckle and the old wishbones have been uh, removed and uh, we already replaced uh, the wishbones with uh, new uh, upper and lower uh, wishbones. So now we can finally start with uh, installing the final uh, steering knuckle. But I just wanted to show you the difference between the, st uh, the steel steering knuckle and the aluminium steering knuckle. First of all, the aluminium uh, steering knuckle is, has just a, a weight advantage above the uh, steel uh, steering knuckle but uh, they also have a difference in uh, brake hose yeah, the steel steering knuckle uses a full length uh, brake hose where the aluminium steering knuckle uses a two-part uh, brake system so they have a shorter uh, brake hose and they have a fixed um, brake line uh, unfortunately these uh, are no longer available and they were out of stock so i had to make them myself how i did this was just by ordering uh, um, preset uh, brake hoses in a uh, certain length and then bend them according to uh, the old uh, brake line. Yeah, now we are going to install the, the steering knuckle and then we have to uh, uh, put the brakes back in place and then uh, bleed the brakes and then we are done. guys the steering knuckle has been installed together with the upper and lower wishbones and all the braking system now the only thing left to do is to install the brake pipe the brake uh, hose and then bleed the brakes and then the install is complete
Guys, the installation is complete and it looks factory new. I'm really happy with how it looks, but not just how it looks, how it drives. It really transformed uh, this car. Uh, throughout uh, the years that I own this car, uh, the Brera has gone uh, through uh, many uh, improvement iterations, so to say, and which with uh, each improvement the car got better. But um, with this improvement, by installing the Bilstein B8 shock absorbers paired with the lightweight uh, steering knuckles, that made a massive uh, improvement uh, to the performance handling, to the handling performance. Yeah, the steering input is so much more direct 
and the car is so much more flatter through the curves there's way less body roll than before and that just in my opinion suits this car really well um, yeah the, the suspension is a lot stiffer than, um, than for instance my uh, TI springs even on my 159 um, so if you would daily uh, this car I wouldn't suggest uh, going for the B8s um, maybe go for the B6 or the B4 but uh, yeah for this car what I wanted uh, it to uh, to drive it really suits the car I'm really happy with it it's just lifted this car to another level to a way more sporty level and it makes for going on drives and uh, going through corners a whole lot more fun it's not like a GT3 RS but uh, uh, it doesn't have to be uh, it's just it, it just elevated the, yeah, the, the, the handling performance and uh, yeah, just the overall feel of this car and I can really recommend it the right height of the Bilstein uh, B8 suspension is also in my opinion perfect that's really what, what I wanted uh, the car to look it's not too low and uh, it's still usable uh, yeah, in normal day uh, traffic and uh, yeah I'm really happy with, with that and this suspension paired with yeah, the lighter uh, HC wheels and uh, the lighter steering knuckles and uh, the new upper and lower wishbones uh, makes this car uh, yeah, turn in and turn out really uh, really well it, uh, yeah, it really has transformed the car so much more direct and planted with this uh, suspension setup and that is without uh, even having done uh, an, a wheel alignment which uh, yeah, I'm planning to do soon um, then it, the car will be even more balanced um, but yeah I think uh, overall this, this setup works perfectly for, uh, for the Pera and I think that if this car from factory came with this setup I think the initial yeah, journalist reviews of this car would be way, way better. Because throughout the years, yeah, it did uh, Super Sprint uh, center pipe, the Wizard uh, exhaust uh, uh, back boxes, BMC air filter, uh, Squadra uh, ECU tune, um, the lighter uh, HC Pro drive wheels and now the Milstein uh, B8 suspension and uh, the lighter uh, aluminium uh, steering knuckles that makes this car yeah really good, really nice uh, package and so much more uh, yeah so much better to drive than than it initially uh, was and there are still uh, even uh, some more upgrades that we could do to this car to make it even better for instance. Uh, Installing uh, a Quave limited uh, slip differential, maybe do an exhaust manifold with high flow cats. Um, and uh, perhaps to uh, do a carbon fiber bonnet to save some more weight uh, of this car. And I think then you have uh, extremely uh, nice and uh, fun to drive uh, Brera and you improve the car even further but uh, yeah that is maybe uh, some things for in the future for now uh, I'm really happy with uh, with this setup and uh, yeah really happy how it uh, all came together uh, so I can really recommend uh, fitting this to, uh, to your Brera but uh, first we have some more uh, fun things for the, the 159 coming up so uh, stay tuned for that and uh, yeah I want to say uh, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully uh, see you next video bye